During this NFT tutorial series, you already learn how to generate a full NFT collection completely free. Now you should upload these NFTs to OpenSea for sale. Sadly, OpenSea does not have a method for listing a large NFT collection. You have to upload them one by one. In this tutorial, we are going to show you an automated method to bulk upload NFTs to OpenSea. Keep watching the tutorial, don't miss any step in the process. You can use your home PC or virtual machine known as VPS. For this tutorial, I use a virtual server to set up this automation. If you want to buy a cheap VPS check the article in the description. First, you have to install Python on your computer. Download the Python installer on the official website. You can find the download link in the article. After downloading the program, install it on your computer. Make sure you tick the box Add Python Path on the Python installation wizard. Next, you have to download the zip file that contains the NFT uploading program. After the downloading, extract the zip file. You have to copy and paste your generated NFT images and JSON files to the SCR folder. Most importantly your NFTs should number, don't include any name for them. This method will not work if you use any other name. If you use the NFT generator we used in previous videos, you don't have to worry. It automatically numbered the NFT collection. OK, it is finished. Open the Windows command prompt to run the Python program. You can find all of these commands and guidelines in the article. Check the video description for a better understanding. You don't have any coding knowledge for that. You just need to copy and paste these commands from the article. You have to navigate the path. Type CD and place the path of the NFT uploader folder. Next type this command to install and set up other requirements. After that run this command to open the NFT uploader application. This is the program we are going to use for this uploading process. Before filling this application and starting NFT minting, you have to download and install the correct Chrome driver version that fits the Chrome browser version. Let's see the browser version. Click the open Chrome browser button of the app. Go to the browser settings and navigate to the about Chrome section. Here you can find the browser version. Now download the relevant version of the Chrome driver app. This download is a zip file. You have to extract the zip file or copy and replace the Chrome driver X that is already in the folder. Then run it as the administrator and see whether you get this message. The next step is to download the MetaMask Chrome extension and log into OpenSea. You can download the MetaMask Chrome extension from the Chrome Web Store or MetaMask official site. Add the extension to your Chrome browser. If you already have MetaMask on your browser, you still need to add it again. Because this application opens a new Chrome user account. You can import your MetaMask wallet using your security phrase. OK, now we are done with setting up the MetaMask wallet. Keep in mind that this method only works for MetaMask wallets. Let's go to OpenSea and sign up using your MetaMask wallet. You have to create a new collection for the listing. After signing up for your OpenSea account, click on your profile avatar and select the collection. There is a button to create a new collection. I already created the collection for my new NFTs. Now select the created collection and open it. You will see a button called Add Item at the right upper corner of the collection page. Click it and copy the URL of the page. 
Then paste it on the OpenSea Collection link text box of the NFT Uploader app. Here enter your starting number of the NFT collection and the end number. You can add any default price you want, but it is marked by Ether or ETH. Change the NFT title, but remember the title should end with a hash symbol. Enter any description for your NFTs and the NFT file format, in our case it is PNG. If you want to add an external link for your NFT collection, enter it here. Next, you can specify the duration of the NFT sale and whether you use Polygon blockchain. After that, you should select the source folder where your NFT collection is stored. You can also save your entries before starting the minting. Now open the Chrome browser using the button of the NFT Auto Uploader app. There is a Google reCAPTCHA verification challenge that comes when you upload NFTs to OpenSea. You can't do this manually each and every time. So we are going to automate the reCAPTCHA solving. First, you have to install a Chrome extension called Buster CAPTCHA Solver. You can find the extension link in the article. After you added the Buster CAPTCHA Solver, click on the icon of Buster CAPTCHA Solver and navigate to the options. Select the speech service as the WIT AI, not the managed one. Next, you have to get an API key for that. WIT AI is a free service based on artificial intelligence that provides voice and text recognition. OK, let's go to the WIT AI official page and sign up for a new account. You have to use your Facebook account to sign up for this website. Click the Continue with Facebook button on the home page. A verification window will appear, giving access to continue the service. The registration part is over. Now we are on the dashboard of Wit AI. The next step is to create a new app and get the API key. Click the New App button in the dashboard. Give any name for your new app and set visibility to private. Click the Create button to start the app. This is your newly created app. You can navigate to the Settings tab to get the API key. There are two API one is the server access token and the other is the client access token. You have to copy the client access token. Then go to the Buster CAPTCHA Solver extension and change the API language to English. Next click Add API and paste the client access token here. OK, now we are done with all of the pre-required settings and preparations. All you have to do is press the start button and wait and see the process. It automatically goes to the OpenSea listing page, fills in all the details, and lists the item on OpenSea. After that, sell the listed item and verify the transaction with Metaverse. You don't have to do anything. It is better to list your very first item of the collection manually. If you experience any interruption during the process, you can simply change the starting number of the NFT Uploader app and click the Start button again. If you any issues regarding the tutorial, open the question directly on the Minex community forum. Because most of the YouTube comments are missed from us. Hope you enjoy the video. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content like this. Thank you for watching Minex.